if you are a Ghanaian and you have a Ghana passport, you do not need a visa to travel to South Africa because Ghana and South Africa reached a visa waiver agreement on the 1st of November 2023. So if you want to visit South Africa as a Ghanaian, all you need is your passport, you need a plane ticket, you need to have an address or a hotel reservation, you need to have your yellow card and you are good to go. Now let's get into the details. Ghana and South Africa reached a visa waiver agreement on 1st November 2023 to allow citizens from both countries to travel to and fro. Now remember, you have the right to be in South Africa for only a period of 90 days within each calendar year. 90 days within each calendar year. Meaning that if you enter South Africa this October, you have 365 days to be there for only 90 days. You can use the 90 days as a block. Just say you go there and you are there for 90 days at once. Or ukoba, ukoba, you can go and come, go and come, go and come uh, for a total sum of 90 days within a calendar year. This is for both tourism and for business. If you decide that after the 90 days you still want to go to South Africa, you are allowed to, but now you will have to apply for a visa. But if it's just for 90 days, less than 90 days, pack your bags and you go. Now, when it comes to passport, your passport needs to be valid for at least six months from the period that you want to arrive in South Africa. And you need to have at least two blank pages where it can be stamped. Do you understand? Number two, you need to have your return ticket. They need to know that you want to come back. And the proof of that is that when you are going there, your ticket has to have a return date that on this date, I'm coming back to Ghana. Number three, you need to have your yellow card. This is called international vaccination card. Some call them yellow card or yellow fever card. Because Ghana is at risk of yellow fever, when traveling to most countries abroad, you have to have this with you. So always keep it with your passport. They might not ask for it, but better safe than sorry. If you don't have a yellow card, most of the regional capitals, you can get it done at the regional hospitals in Ghana. If you're in Accra, you can get this done at Kolebu Teaching Hospital or Adabraka Polyclinic. This is according to a list released by Ministry of Health. I'm going to put it up there for those who want to see the proof of this. Passport, ticket, yellow card, and yes, Immigration might ask you where are you going? So you need to have hotel reservations book your hotel at booking.com They might you don't even have to pay just show a reservation that oh I have a hotel or if you are going to somebody tell them the address of the person that you are going to go to and Maybe just have your bank statement just in case because when you go to check-in The person can look at you and ask you questions based on how you appear to them or the instinct that they get So it's always better to be ready. I hear sometimes complaints like oh at Singapore you go to the airport and they return you because the immigration might take a look at you and feel like you look suspicious. So get your everything in order. Even though it's visa-free, it's not like a market. Anybody can go and come. Even a club, they bounce people at the gates. How much more a whole country? So get your passport done. Get your return ticket done. Get your yellow card done. Get your hotel reservation or the address done. Have your bank statement or some money just in case to prove that you are not going to be there to be a hustler or to be a burden on anybody. 90 days within a calendar year you are good to go and remember this applies to Ghanaians who live outside of Ghana as well because I told you the last time once you are a Ghana passport holder this passport every right every privilege every power that has is in this passport is for Ghanaians no matter where they are in the world not only in Ghana so if you're in Australia and you want to go to South Africa you too can go without a visa but obviously you can only travel out of Australia when you have complied with their laws that's why we are an immigrant, in illegal immigrants in a country. You can't even travel out because how would you pass customs? Do you understand? So if you are legally re resident or anywhere else in the world and you want to go to South Africa, you can go visa free if you have a Ghana passport. I think I've covered everything. Yes, so I think I have about covered everything. So that's it. Go to South Africa, relax, enjoy for business, for pleasure. It's a beautiful place. It's wonderful. South Africans can also come to Ghana under the same agreement. Now, if you want, remember this video is only for educational and informational purposes. If you want more information, you can always contact the South African High Commission in Ghana, which is located in Accra for more information. Or contact your trusted travel agency for help and information you know send me your questions in the in the comments and then let me see how best i can answer them thanks for watching as usual my name is zakia kunge knowledge is power